Friday night, guys. One in the morning. On the streets of Burbank here outside Miami Fitness. Another moment of life. Our lives, what we create, are made from the decisions we make on the moment-to-moment -moment basis. Champions are never woken up and born into success. They're created, they're matured, they're struggled, then weathered through that effort of hard work and dedication and sacrifice to achieve that championship status. It's these moments, these decisions we make on a daily basis. Do we get up early and go for a run? Do we hit the snooze button? Do we go that extra rep in the gym? and our body's dying, do we push past that? All these little things are the inches that add up to be the measure of difference between first place and forever forgotten, second place. Huge margins, but if you look about your day and all these little moments of life, all these little opportunities are in your wheelhouse. You create them. And later in life, when you're crying because you came up short, stop being so selfish. Look back on your day. Examine it, put it under a microscope, and have responsibility for your actions. Those inches you need to be number one then, which is now in the past, are around us every single day. It's not a bad break, it's not the ref making a bad call. It's that you get up that day and do those little tiny things, the little details, the little nuggets of life. That's what adds up to be the difference. And if you're gonna sit here and complain why you came up short, without taking responsibility and looking at yourself internally first on all the opportunities you decide to pass on for comfort, then you're a shallow person, guys. If your day doesn't challenge you, don't ever expect to be changed by it. They go hand in hand, especially in the physical arena, guys. Strength is not from the efforts in a physical state, no. It starts with an undying will, belief that the journey you're about to embark on is a winnable course of action and that you can do it better than anyone's done it before. That belief is so ingrained in the will of the individual that creates the driving force of physical strength to turn into a maturity of something. Mental first, then this guy follows. If you don't have it up here, this motherfucker's lost. It's like you drive down a street with no map, no idea where to go. The daily choices. In the gym, guys, gravity hasn't changed as I looked. Fundamental exercises are pretty much the same. It's a systematic approach on how you design those exercises that will lead to that shock and awe factor. That shock being your body forced to adapt to new situations. That adaptation is what we call growth, guys. Doing the same thing over and over again does not challenge us. So therefore, we cannot grow from it. It's putting yourself to the fire constantly. That leads to the character of the individual and the will. That's, that, that, that's where that is, that is born and bred from. Otherwise it becomes benign, monotonous, boring. It's the challenges of life that creates the will and the confidence of the individual. The perishable aspects. I Meaning if you don't use it, you lose it. Just like in the gym. If you don't work out, you go soft. If you don't challenge your confidence level of who you are, well then you get soft mentally too. It's the challenges and the struggles and changing shit up that challenges us to create something. It's common physics, guys. So if gravity hasn't changed and all the workouts are pretty much universal as far as the exercises, what's the underlining key to success? The structure of them. How you go about your day, how you order them, how you repair them, how you give them nutrition. All that stuff is the mindset of a champion. Thinking before acting. You don't just go in there and start throwing weight around. You have a purpose for every action. Therefore, every action has a result. This workout here is systematically designed for growth. That's all it's about. But in order to find that growth, you must first feel the pain. Two types of pain, guys. Pain that kills you, hurts you, injures you. And there's a pain of progress. That changes you. That's what we're going to embark on. You go in here welcoming that. Your workout doesn't even begin or end until you have felt that. Then you know you've done something today. You can check the box that the opportunities have arisen, the choices you made are for tomorrow's investment for the betterment. That's success, guys.
Let's work out here at Miami Fitness late at night, man. Friday night. Everyone's out party. I love that, man. They're all out there getting fucking wasted, man. I'm in here getting stronger for it. They get a good night's sleep with rest and nutrition. I'm going to wake up. They're going to be hungover. I'm going to wake up kicking ass before they even know what hit them. Choices we make, guys, that leads to differential being remembered forgotten. Miami Fitness, late at night. Time to get ahead. Nobody here this late. It's our home. Our home. Nobody else here. This is our arena. This is our lab where we do all the work. Champions aren't found on the podium with their hand up, no. Champions are found in lab studies, the thousands of hours of hard work when no one's watching. That's what makes the will unstoppable. When you're in here and no one else is, and you're pushing yourself harder than anybody with no one around. That right there, guys, is a spark that catches flames. Burns every fear down, guys. Some fear people use, and it, and it, and it Enables them, fear does. You know, it's a block to them. They're scared from it, they run from it. Fear, you know, shuts them down. For others, fear's a motivation. I feel fear now, and I tackle it so I never have to fear, feel it again. 